Welcome back everybody, I am the Jimmer. This is the Battle Wagon Smash. This is going to be episode 14. And so in this episode we have the Supreme Titan by Haps taking on the Naval Centipede by Raving Maniac. I'm going to take a look at both entries and then we'll get the battle underway. This is the uh, last battle of the um, first round of the primary bracket. We do have, I believe, two more, yeah, two um, entries that we have yet to see. And we'll probably go do those fights next. I'm going to leave the, uh, I'm gonna, so we'll see episode 21 and 25 next. If you're watching this in the future, then it's just in regular order. But um, if you, you want to see the, uh, the entries that haven't gone yet, check out episode 21 and 25 for those battles. But anyway, this is the Supreme Titan by Haps. We've got uh, the Supreme Titan itself here, and then two SHBT1 Model D volleys um, escorting it. Let's look at the main ship. Looks like we've got two large tank turrets, APS cannons. Oh, those are some big, uh, big clips in there, shooting some heavy, heavy rounds. In the uh, twin turrets, is this a fixed gun? I think this is another turret. Yeah, it looks like a turret in here as well. Does this extend down into the body? Now, just a just a surface or just a uh, enclosed turret here. Yeah, still big big um, shells though, and really long barrels. And then a f final Daka turret up here. Yeah, this is shooting um, small rounds, high rate of fire. I like the uh, Veed missile launcher. Missiles, instead of launching straight upright, kind of V out. Looks really cool. You can see lots and lots of heavy armor. This is a relatively small entry, but putting a lot of uh, materials into the heavy armor. You can see it's uh, layered in here. Everything has its own little compartments, so this should be a super durable entry, and uh, lots of docking to go with it. I like the little volleys accompanying it. it looks like just basic, uh, yeah, basic tanks with a whole bunch of missiles. So some seriously long missiles too. Now yeah, look at this bad boy. You don't you don't want to get hit by that. It's like a whole lot of frags and an explosive on there. Alright, so that is the Supreme Titan by Haps. Let's take a look over at the Naval Centipede by Raving Maniac. And uh, he, went, he made, made, went out of his way to point out that these are uh, two cruiser um, class vehicles that he has built that are connected uh, ass to mouth here. That is the, uh, the technical term. <laughs> And uh, then a uh, couple tanks, you know, spliced in just for good measure. I mean, you never, you never out centipede your centipede. All right, let's take a look. How, like, uh, it's, uh, oh, this is actually this is a rule violation right here. There's no no propellers allowed in this tournament. <laughs> so if he wins this, that's that was cheating. Propellers OP. It looks like, yeah, it looks like good, good, really good armor here. Metal, metal, um, and then the heavy armor triangles for armor, then an air gap, and uh, another uh, bit of heavy armor, or excuse me, a bit of metal around the turrets. It's like a bunch of different kinds of guns, some missiles, looks like a uh, Sea Whiz ball, anti missile ball, uh, anti missile weapon there. And then some more uh, more turrets here in the front. Yep. Well, I guess the front in the back and then the front again. And it looks like the potentially vulnerable point here in that uh, it's just a couple of pieces of uh, metal holding on the, uh, the track. So some potential for it to be uh, oh inhibited hamstrung 
have its movement uh, crippled. But other than that, it looks like a really tanky design. <laughs> Just kind of goofy. I like the, uh, the captive tanks here on the side. And this is the Naval Centipede by Raving Maniac. Alright, so that's both entries. Let's go ahead and get this on pause and get the battle underway. Here we go. See both sides exchanging right away. Shells and missiles coming out on both sides. And lots of explosions. Oh, huge explosion on the Naval Centipede. Looks like that uh, tank there on the side getting taken out, possibly. Another huge explosion. Right, I'm going to give this a pause. And let's just kind of peek around and see what's happening. So many explosions going on. See, these are shells on their way towards the Supreme Titan. So some big shells. And let's take a look at what that damage was here. Uh, it doesn't look like these turrets going up. No, it looks like maybe just HE shells. Just really, really big HE shells exploding against the hull. And uh, making it look like the naval centipede is going up. It's still at 99%. With all those missiles, lots of missiles on the way out from the little volleys. And it looks like the missile strike from the naval centipede just starting to land on the Supreme Titan. Supreme Titan as well, still 99%. Alright, let's get this unpaused. Let the battle continue. Alright, it looks like that missile strike brought the Supreme Titan down to 95%. Let's see the uh, return missile strike does to the centipede. It looks like it's going to get down to 95% as well, so this is going to be a war of attrition and uh, very evenly matched. Both sides doing as much damage as they're dealing. It's getting right up in the business of the centipede. It looks like that uh, tank, this tank here mounted on the side is pretty much gone, lost its turret at least. And it looks like we're going to have a collision. Yeah, the uh, the volley's getting in there and uh, interfering with the movement. Oh, huge explosion there. That looked like more than a shell, but I don't see I don't see any turrets going up. Oh, Supreme Titan has taken some damage. It's lost a turret for sure. Supreme Titan all the way down, all overall, all the way down to 80%. Naval Centipede 95%. Yeah, you can see the uh, the Titan lost the front turret and this side turret. Hole looks pretty much intact, so it could potentially repair some of that damage, but it's extremely hard to uh, repair a turret in combat. It would have to pretty much almost completely disable the centipede in order to get that to happen. But it does still have these uh, two turrets here fully functional, as well as the missile barrage. And the volleys are doing a good job of interfering with the centipede. Doesn't look like they're doing that much damage, but they are uh, keeping it from moving. They've got it pinned here. I can see the, uh, the missiles. Yeah, there we go. They are, they are actually detonating against the hull. It's uh, taking them a while to hit that uh, timer, the safety to use. Looks like Naval Centipede actually gaining health now. It's up to 96. Supreme Titan um, at 73. Overall, the entry is at 78. Oh, 
both entries using their resources fairly quickly. It's worth noting the, the centipede is using its resources much more quickly. It's burned through almost 10,000 resources already and we're only a minute and a half in. If the, uh, the Titan is able to survive, it might get a uh, slight boost once the centipede runs out of resources. That's going to take a while though, it's got, it's got a long time to survive and the, uh, the centipede is really dishing out the DACA. Oh, and there we see, right there we saw, looks like this is going to get disconnected. If the, uh, the game ever realizes that this is actually separate from the hull now, yeah, there we go, that damage loading in. But still, only only trivial damage to the centipede. Uh, it really doesn't need to move as the um, Supreme Titan is also stationary. Supreme Titan hanging on though. It lost a bunch of hit points early, but it's been at about 77-75% for quite a while now. Naval Centipede also hanging around about 90 some percent. Two minutes in now. It's too bad these little volleys don't have a nuke on board. If they, uh, if they did, we're able to detonate it right now. That would almost certainly end the centipede. got taken out there. There we go, see me spawning. Looks like its ammo stores got pierced. That might have even been friendly fire. I think it's too close for the uh, centipede to actually hit it. So that must have been uh, friendly fire coming from the Supreme Titan. Supreme Titan getting dangerously low. It's all the way down to 68%. Centipede 96%. I would guess the centipede probably has another five minutes worth of materials. So I don't know if the Supreme Titan can last that long. It might be able to stage a comeback. Ooh, excuse me. It might be able to stage a comeback, but I just don't think it's going to be able to hang on that long. Supreme Titan may have lost its ammo stores. It has not fired in a very long time. the turret and yeah, that might be too damaged 
very close to it though. Oh yeah, there it is, two damaged. Alright, so congratulations to Raving Maniac. Your naval centipede is as dangerous as it is twisted. Uh, really, really funny design. I really appreciate it. And uh, looks like it is uh, effective as well. Uh, condolences to Hops. The uh, Supreme Titan looked tough, but uh, unfortunately up against a slightly stronger opponent. Uh, we'll see it at least one more time, just moving down to the secondary bracket. Alright, so that, like I said at the beginning of the episode, this concludes the uh, first round of the uh, primary bracket. Hope you guys enjoyed the battles. If you did, click that subscribe button, and we'll see you in the next episode.